So, a lot of you have been asking, can I make a CVT that is a singular clutch? And this is something that I've been thinking about for a while, and I think I, the reason I haven't got around to it is I've been hung up on the fact that I could get two clutches to slip so perfectly. But now that I've got a system that just targets a certain engine RPS and adjusts the clutch engagement of the CVT to match, why not just do it with a single clutch? So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to see if I can make a new CVT with a single clutch and a single gearbox. So I guess a standard old need a baseboard type thing. And the reason I want to do this this way is because that way I can start doing things like putting on, you know, a regular starter. I can put on, I, I, I mean, I can use just a single clutch. But I guess the thing is, is that I want this to work with the single clutch because the previous one yeah it was just massive everything was big so ideally we can get rid of the size factor with this let's put throttle in rps we're gonna have to change a lot of this up now the clutch i guess the idea is, is that if the engine is below our target RPS we decrease if it's above we increase so what I might also do is if I save this up as CVT single clutch and then I pull out my CVT chess car chassis preset because this has a couple bits that I want to steal from it you know this is horrible this is horrible I might just have to rewrite this. So the clutch out is equal to, well, the clutch value is equal to, we have the cruise target, you know, the RPS minus the cruise target, the clutch value already, and then times 0 0.01, because um, so that just seems to work smoothly. If that is greater than 1, then cl is equal to one else if cl is less than zero then cl is equal to zero cl times ws now so we've got our primary display as our rps we want a constant number here as our just just 10 rps is our target let's see what this does if it works relatively because then I want to turn it into a car system so I guess it's uh if I give it a bit extra throttle so as soon as we climb up it should start increasing the clutch value to bring it back although it does seem like it's a bit too sharp in it okay so just initial values like that's looking pretty good so far and i reckon with a greater amount of taxing on the engine it'll be better and like if i increase my throttle a bit it should yeah so it does look like it w it's working um but it does also look like it can't what is it what why is it not increasing it Oh, that's why that's why um what i should do is take is put in a clamp function put that up the top and go look we'll clamp the throttle value between zero and one and we'll take that to the power of 0 0.2 so let me just give it a little bit of kick let's see what it does Okay, so it looks like actually it's a bit, it's a bit too aggressive. 0.0, oh, make it a bit smoother, because I don't want it to, I don't want it to drop so low that the engine is just not smooth.
Hmm. Because it's dropping too much. It's like, it's really aggressively increasing the clutch value. So maybe if I do that to the power of three. Hear me out. Do it to the power of three. And then just something real small as a multiplier. Because that way, if we, uh... So now we climb up. It's it's climbing, it's climbing. It's not climbing fast enough, and now it's Oh okay, so no, it needs to be more aggressive again. Maybe I should do a clamp of of RPS minus the cruise value of minus one to one and then multiply that by 0 0.01 okay i can't be bothered with that um right how about delta how do i take away the delta function delta time um value might just have to get rid of the delta function and just do a d rps is equal to current rps value minus rps zero rps zero is equal to rps um d rps is equal to zero rps zero is equal to zero so initially it'll just change change that and then we can just do minus the RPS times 0 0.01. Let's try that. So that way it kind of opposes the change in RPS. Okay, maybe it needs to oppose the change in RPS less. Or this is all just a lot of horrible balancing. Maybe it needs a flywheel, like kind of requires an engine have a flywheel type thing that would certainly smooth it out okay now the flywheel just makes it worse stupid flywheel okay let's think about this again so if the rps is dropping then, then, uh, if the rps is dropping then we want to do that okay that's possibly where i got it wrong so my change in rps i need to be adding on so that when we have a change in RPS, if it drops, well, it's repeating the same thing over and over and over and over. So maybe we just dampen that a bit and we think about what we can do. Oh, that's better. Oh, well, that's very good. I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe. So it is the delta RPS. Let's try 0 0.1 delta RPS and we will, if that works, then we can start working on the proper big engine systems of like, hey, it's, uh, oh, wow, that's, that's actually, that, that's, that's superb. That's superb. That is superb. Oh, that's awesome! It's like as as that in, as that engine RPS is slightly above, it'll just keep doing it. And then if I put my engine RPS up, oh wow! Oh my gosh! Dare I say I will take a bow? Because this is just going to continuously engage, and like even if I put my throttle all the way up. It'll just keep going until it can, and if it hits one, which I don't think it will because, but that, that's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, well, first things first, let's then try it with a different cruise RPS because I want to 
Let's see if it's just a one-off anomaly of Inarpius works, or if actually it's... So we want it to cruise at 13. I should have moved this, but... Oh, wow. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's just going to sit up at that RPS and just build it. Oh, I love this. I love this. Okay, so let's reset that to 10. Let's put a... um. Okay, so here we have we are in park, parking brakes on, reverse, neutral, drive. Now in park, even if I try to, it won't engage the clutch. It just, it just, it just won't. I mean, it, it can, but it won't with the parking brake on. Then, um, reverse. And then neutral. Why is it? Why, oh. Why is it making the minimum gear is equal to one, or gear is equal to three? Then that. Here we go. That should fix that. That should fix that. So we have park and brake on in park. Clutch won't engage. Then we have reverse. And then we have neutral, no clutch. And then we have drive, which just sits perfectly. Oh, that's that's amazing. Rev all the way up. But I think I think I, I've done it. I've done it. Well, in that case, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put a, a wheel there. We're going to link it up. And I guess, I, I, I guess that's it. I am really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Um. Thank you all so much for, for watching today. This is this this is the pinnacle. This is it. We have a single clutch, true CVT that is even smooth, sm not as smooth on acceleration, but, even, but in general running is ten times as smooth and perfect than the other ones which I think is awesome. So, uh, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.